Welcome to W3IT Tutorials. Hi, I am Tinto Chaco from W3IT Tutorials. Today's class is an introduction of Linux. Linux is an operating system that evolved from a kernel created by Linus Torvalds when he was a student at the University of Helsinki. Linux is an operating system that is meant to be used as an alternative to other operating system like MSDOS, the various versions of MS Windows, Mac OS, Solaris and others. Linux is not a program like a word processor and is not a set of programs like an office suite. In order to understand the popularity of Linux, we need to travel many years back. At that time computers were very big machines and the sizes of those computers created substantial problems. In addition, every computer had different operating systems. Software was always customized to serve a specific purpose and software for one given system did not run on another system. It was difficult, both for the users and the administrators. Computers were not also expensive and but also complicated to operate. The total cost per unit of computing power was huge, technologically the world was not quite advanced at that time. In 1969, a team of developers in the Bell Labs laboratory started working on a solution for the software problem, to address these compatibility issues. They developed a new operating system, which was simple and stylish. Written the C programming language instead of an assembly code. Able to recycle code, the Bell Labs developers named their project Unix. The code recycling features were very important. Until then, all commercially available computer systems were written in a code specially developed for one system. Unix on the other hand needed only a small piece of that special code, which is now commonly named the kernel. This kernel is the only piece of code that needs to be adapted for every specific system and forms the base of the Unix system. The operating system and all other functions were built around this kernel and written in higher programming language, C. This language was specially developed for creating the Unix system. Using this new technique, it was much easier to develop an operating system that could run on different type of hardware. By the beginning of the 90s home PCs were finally powerful enough to run Unix. When Linus Torvalds was studying at the University of Helsinki, he was using a version of the Unix operating system called Minix. Linus thought it would be a great idea to have some sort of freely available academic version of Unix, and promptly started to code. Linus and other users sent requests to the programmers and users all around the world for modifications and improvements to Minix. He started to ask questions, looking for answers and solutions that would help him get Unix on his PC. Linus decided to create his own operating system that would take into account users' comments and suggestions for improvement. At the end beginning, it was Linus' goal to have a free system that was completely complete with original Unix. In 1991, Ideal conditions existed that would create Linux. In essence, Linus Torvalds had a kernel but no programs of his own, Richard Stallman and GNU had programs but no working kernel. So combining the necessary programs provided by GNU in Cambridge, Massachusetts and a kernel, developed by Linus Torvalds in Helsinki, Finland, Linux was born. Due to the physical distance involved, the means used to get Linus kernel together with the GNU programs was the intern then in its infancy. We can say then that Linux is an operating system that came to life on Internet. The Internet would also be crucial in Linux's subsequent development as a means of coordinating the work of all the developers that have made Linux into what is today. Today, Linux is enjoying a favorable climate. This comes from the fact that Linux has proven to be a tremendously stable and versatile operating system particularly as a network server. When Linux is deployed as Linux server in corporate networks, its downtime is almost negligible. There have been cases when Linux servers have been running for more than a year without rebooting and then only taken down for a brief period for routine maintenance. Its cost effectiveness has sold it more than anything else. Linux can be installed on a home PC as well as a network server for a fraction of the cost of other companies' software package.